Hi everyone, my name is Loya K H. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be making Mimi Shinzu. Have you heard about Mimi? This is one of the tastiest uh, snacks of all time, and uh, the company is uh, YY. The updated version of Mimi is the YY. So uh, Shinzu is one of the authentic uh, cuisine from Manipur, which is a mix of vegetables and added with the spicy chilies with fermented fish. So I will show you how to make it and how it tastes. So keep watching till the end. So guys, first I will tell you the ingredients quickly. Uh, this is the finely uh, chopped cabbage and this is the coriander leaves. And this one right here, it's uh, the wild coriander, which is very good in the taste and smell as well. And you know this is the king chili and this is the fermented fish. And this is uh, what we call thoiding. This is also one of the best ingredients uh, to put in Shinzu. And this is the wild coriander. And this is the cabbage which uh, you need to eat with the Mimi Shinzu. And this is some of the mustard leaf which I personally like it so I am uh, putting it. And this is, uh, we call it kupsu. This can be made from uh, rice or uh, at the same time this can be made from the, uh, the peas. So I'm going to mix this with for a better taste. So let's start. This is the crushed uh, Mimi. This is how it looks and you have uh, the masalas inside. I'm not using the oil. I don't like the like this oil. So I'm putting the masala for a better taste. And now we can mix the the fine chop uh, cabbage and uh, also we can mix the coriander leaves a bit and now we can mix like this and this is the first process how I do then we can use the fermented fish you can remove the head if you don't want uh, and I'm putting just a half uh, chili because this is very 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 spicy and if the shinzu is very spicy you will not like the taste. You can crush the chili with the fish like this and make sure you add the salt as per your taste. Mm, it smells good. You, you need to add a little bit of water so that it uh, uh, the Mimi absorb the taste of the chili and the fish. I need some water. Okay, let me get it. Just add a little bit of water, not much. Okay. To be honest, this is the very first time that I'm making a Mimi Shinju. And I want this to taste really good. Now the mixture is done. Mm. Looks spicy. You can add like this. And you can remove for better taste. Once it is done, make sure you mix the Mimi with the chili chutney properly. Right after this, you can mix the thoiding, which is my uh, favorite one teaspoon of uh, thoiding. You know, this is teaspoon, little bit more. Okay, and then again you mix. So once thoiding is mixed, you can still add this uh, kupsu. like it this is just to make a, like just to improve the taste now you can add the coriander leaves and the wild coriander leaves it's almost done now you can take this out as I said this cabbage and the Mustard leaf is to eat with the Mimi Shinzu. 
So now our missing do is done. Looks fresh, tasty, and amazing. Let's eat. So this is how the Mimi Singju looks. You can eat with cabbage or any other vegetable leaves you would like to eat with. So that's it. So guys, this is it. This is the Mimi Singju, and you can eat this with, as I said, with all these vegetables. Let's start. I'm like, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So you can take one leaf of the cabbage and uh, you can you have to keep it in the middle like how you eat sabji with chapati like chapati with sabji any which ways This is so amazing. Mmm. This is can add the white coriander. I'll quickly show you to eat with the mustard leaves. Do the same. Wrap it properly. Mm. This is amazing and it's very tasty. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to comment how the Mimi Singju looks like. So till then, keep YouTubing. See you all in the next video.